Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray, welcome to the newsroom, and we appreciate you talking to us. First of all, congratulations and belated happy birthday. Thank you. Good morning from New York City. Um, it's really crazy to think that I just spent my birthday here, yeah. that Christmas and the new year has passed, and I've just really had a couple of weeks of straight celebration. <laughs> yeah, Katriona, so uh, officially this week you're starting your duties as Miss Universe. Um, tell us how how's it's going so far. It's amazing, you know, this is this is my dream being realized. I'm in New York City, I've been able to really go and talk to a lot of different media outlets this week. Um, and it really feels official now. It feels like it's really sunk in that I am Miss Universe 2018. And I'm so happy that I'm given this amazing platform. And to see that all the Filipinos, all of the fans are still supporting in the journey. They're still alongside by me. So it's a great, great feeling. How's New York so far for you? Were there any adjustments that you had to make in terms of weather, Measure maybe? <laughs> it's quite cool. The weather is the biggest adjustment, if anything. But the Miss Universe organization has made the move very smooth for me. They're taking care of me. And also, this isn't my first time in the city, so I I'm not necessarily familiar. But it isn't completely new either. But it's such an exciting place to be. And you were making the rounds of uh, media networks there in the U.S. How was your experience? A lot of them are giving you good reviews with one, one anchor even saying you're like the perfect Miss Universe. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm just, I'm having fun. Um, and also, it, I'm learning every step of the way because being flung into this worldwide arena, um, of course, before I was just a Miss Philippines, but now being a Miss Universe, I have this huge audience. And, and being able to share the messages about my advocacy, about my causes, what's dear to my heart, what's near to my heart, it just it gives me so much fulfillment that I've been given this platform. And talking about your advocacy, so how do you plan to further uh, pursue uh, promoting education for children and even your advocacy on HIV AIDS? Well, definitely, I would love to continue my work with Young Focus Philippines and Love Yourself Philippines, but also lend my voice to other organizations around the world because at the core of it, education or awareness and educating people and breaking down stigma, those are two similarities in both of my causes. And I feel like there's so much work to be done in other places in the world. And perhaps as in this universe, I could visit countries that have been able to address the social problems in such a way and been successful successful and maybe bring that back to the Philippines and, and suggest a few um, things that we could implement or a new program and that makes me so excited that I do have the opportunity to learn and also give back. Mm -hmm. And many are already looking forward to your homecoming but over the holidays uh, you mentioned uh, in some interviews that you were able to spend uh, Christmas and New Year actually here in the Philippines. How was it? Yes, it was a very, very quiet holiday season for me. I really did hide a little bit. Um, I spent a very quiet Christmas and New Year with my family, my parents, because prior to seeing them in Thailand for the coronation, I hadn't seen them since March because they do reside abroad. So um, it was really nice for me to have that time and that the Miss Universe organization allowed me that time to stay in the Philippines. But I'm really looking forward to homecoming because really I haven't celebrated with the Filipinos yet. I haven't had that opportunity to really, you know, celebrate the win. So it's something I'm super looking forward to. And Catriona, many are also interested about how you will be having, continuing your relationship with your longtime boyfriend. <laughs> Well, it's something that I would like to keep private because, mm -hmm. you know, being flung into the public of light, you know, there's very much little left for me, like left to keep to myself. So that's something that I'd rather not discuss. Okay. Anyway, uh, what are your uh, future plans, Catriona? Um, uh, Miss Universe will be, what, one year in New York? And then after that, what, what are you looking forward to? Um, I would definitely love to pursue my music and any other opportunities that were to open their door to me. But going forward, I really want to retain um, my work in, in, in different causes as a spokesperson because it is something that really anchors me as a human or as a person. And it also gives me the sense of fulfillment in what I do. So I would definitely love to keep being a philanthropist, to keep being a spokesperson, to keep working with charity and also pursuing my dreams in music. And how about show business, maybe? Yeah, if the opportunity presents itself, why not? I'm open to every opportunity. And from here, uh, what are your next um, actions, your next activities as Miss Universe? 
Well, I'll be completing my media week here in New York, and then my first international trip is actually to Indonesia. And then from there, the schedule is still falling into place since it is just the new year, the start of the new year. So I'm really excited. I hope that my reign brings me to all different parts of the world, places that I've never been. And of course, I really look forward to coming home for my homecoming. Okay, um, before we let you go, Catriona, can you give a message to your Filipino fans? Uh, ano ba yung Tagalog daw? Ano ba ang pwede mong ibigay na mensahe sa iyong mga kababayan dito sa Pilipinas? Sa mga kababayan, to all of my supporters, maraming 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 salamat po sa inyong lahat for all of your love and support throughout this whole journey. Actually, a year ago and a day, it was the first day that I stepped into the doors of Bini Bini Filipinas. And to think that you've been with me every step of this journey, and I really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the strength that I draw from you, the inspiration that I draw from you as supporters. So thank you so much. Mahal ko kayo. Sobra, sobra. I love you guys. <laughs> and any special message daw to your kababayans naman in Bicol? Talagang mga number one supporters mo rin yan, Catriona. Yes, also to everyone in Bicol, I hope that you're safe and recovering from the recent storms. Um, for those who are looking for aid, please do look to your local governments or local non-profits or non-government organizations for how you can donate relief goods to help these families who have been affected by the storm, recent storms. And thank you so much for giving me so much inspiration. My inspiration for my final look was from Mount Mayon, from Bicol region, from my mother's lineage. And I just want to thank you so much. And thank you also, Miss Universe 2018, Catriona Gray, and we hope to see you soon here in the Philippines. Congratulations. Yes, again. look forward to seeing you. Thank you for having me.